Flamelina veludipe. Depending on where you live, it's more commonly referred to as being the velvet shank, velvet stem, inoki, or inokitake. Velvet shanks are often seen fruiting throughout the winter, depending on where you live. And apparently these are even known to continue growth after they have thawed. They do apparently occur in early autumn, but from what I've observed, they tend to prefer late autumn and into early winter. If you plan on looking for these, they do come with some precautions that you must adhere to. Number one, you've got to make a spore print. Velvet shank spore prints are white. And you've got to check along the, the stalk to make sure there is no annulus or ring. If you end up with a brown spore print and you do see a mushroom that has that ring, inevitably you have the deadly gallerina. And you know what that means. Stay away from it. Check every mushroom you pick to make sure that the, brown, the spore print is not brown and make sure the stem has no annulus. You'll find velvet shanks on, stu on stumps, trunks of dead hardwood trees, especially ash, elm, and oaks. Their gills are broadly or narrowly attached to the stem. They are white at first and they become pale yellow as they mature. When grown outdoors, this mushroom becomes dark brown, whereas those cultivated in darkness are white. The more oxygen that they are exposed to, the shorter and wider they grow. These are very tasty mushrooms, but I much prefer to dehydrate them and then use those in my cooking. Enoki has been studied extensively and has been proven to be effective in the fight against degenerative diseases, which includes cancer, dementia, and Alzheimer's. It's a powerful antioxidant with anti-inflammatory substances, and it has a detoxifying nature. For more information on velvet shanks, please click on the links below. And thank you for watching.